Hello and welcome to Extra, a little bit more. Today we're going to give you our top 20 Christian resources for children and youth to keep them entertained and fed on God during their time at home. Coming in at number 20, it's AnswersInGenesis.com. Okay, essentially, this is an apologetics site, but for kids. It's inevitable that you will get asked at least one difficult question by your children when spending all day, every day with them. This site gives you an easy answer. Rather than umming and ahhing, you can go to Answers in Genesis and find a video which answers the question. At number 19, it's radio.keysforkids.org. Okay, let's face it, Premier Christian Radio and those other Christian radio stations are a little heavy for the children and even for some of us adults. Radio.keysforkids.org offers children's radio programs. You can have it on in the background whilst doing some crafts or give the children something to listen to in those headphones other than their usual music. Number 18, ColoringPagesForYou.com Okay, excuse the American spelling here, but the past decade has seen the rise of adult colouring books. Teens can often be found with a set of felt tips and some fancy design to colour in. I myself have a great Harry Potter colouring book, but this site offers lots of colouring pages for both the littlest kids and the biggest teens. You can set your level of difficulty and there are many different categories of pictures from your Bible pictures to Walson Gromit to Pokemon. What else could we want? Coming in at number 17, check out Superbook. This site offers free online games for the children to play at home. Why not combine that gaming with the Bible, which is exactly what Superbook has done. It's put a take on some of the classic smartphone apps to make them have a Christian twist. From Cake Match to Harvest Rush, there will be plenty to while away the long days. Number 16 is another game, but this time from Scripture Union. Guardians of Angkor was originally built to be taken into schools and played as part of an after-school club. But the kind people at Scripture Union have made it available for all on the Apple, Google or Amazon devices. Play as various characters who run, jump and explore their way through the world of Angkor, playing exciting Bible quests. Number 15 comes in the form of a Bible. Ideal for Teens, the New Living Translation Life Application Bible offers an easy to read version of the Bible which doesn't cut out the theology. With various notes and advice on the passages and characters, it's ideal for any teenagers or adults who wish to take their faith to the next level and deepen their understanding of God. It'll work well alongside other Bible study resources uh, and you can find ones such as Harry Potter or Narnia to help you through. You can find it on Amazon or the Eden bookstores online. Speaking of Eden, at number 14, it's eden.co.uk. Sometimes we lack a little inspiration, or perhaps we just like to browse before we buy. Offering delivery, Eden is a great place to find Christian materials, which you can categorise according to the age or interest of the adult or child. They don't just offer books though, there are great resources for prayer and entertainment. At 13, we turn to Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime offers lots of different resources for us to use. We all love the next day delivery, but alongside this comes Amazon Prime Video. There are plenty of Christian films and TV programs which can be streamed for the children through this service. With Amazon Kindle Unlimited, you can find Christian Bible eBooks to read as well. And with Amazon Music, you can stream worship songs and some great Christian artists. It all sounds perfect, doesn't it? However, it only comes in at number 13 because it also contains films and content rated at 12, 15 and 18. Although you can filter out explicit music, it is inevitable that given a free roam, especially of the video service, the children might find some less than appropriate content for their age. 
I'd strongly suggest loading the video you wish the children to watch or creating a playlist of songs you wish them to listen to. And number 12, it's ChristianKidsTop100.com. If any of the suggestions on this list don't quite meet the children's needs, or perhaps you would like to find some of your own ideas, this site offers a variety of different resources which are sorted into age categories so you can explore things for yourself. At number 11, it's stories.audible.com. Not strictly speaking Christian content, stories.audible.com is a temporary resource of free audiobooks for children and youth. Audible have decided that children might need a little extra free entertainment whilst away from school. So with books like Winnie the Pooh, you won't be disappointed. If you decide that you love audiobooks, you can always subscribe to the full service for even more children's, youth and even adults books after you finish here. Number 10 requires a little extra work from mum and dad. It's prayerspacesinschools.com. This resource is great if you want to help your children explore what it is to pray and to enable them to communicate with God in a much easier way. Prayer Spaces was originally designed for taking prayer stations into schools, but in the current climate, why not look at the resources page and find your own prayer stations to put at home? Maybe try a new one each week until you find your children's favourite style of prayer. At nine, it's another freebie here, but this time from TBN UK. Trinity Broadcasting Network is a TV channel available on Freeview. Although dominated by lots of sermons, it does put aside certain parts of the day to broadcast children's programmes. VeggieTales makes an appearance most days. If you aren't so good at remembering to turn on the TV, there are some children's shows available on demand. Number 8 is a regular resource used for church mice. Lost Sheep is a series of children's Bible stories often built around animals or fun characters. Lost Sheep has all their stories available to read online for free in your browser. Number 7 is especially for Hazel. Did you know that VeggieTales has their own YouTube channel? I didn't until a couple of days ago. But guess how I'm spending the rest of my week? Why not tune in and let your kids join Larry and Bob and the rest of the vegetables to learn about the Bible? And maybe it's time for a silly song with Larry. Well, back to the Bible for number six. After the success of the Big Bang Theory TV comedy, Comic books have been on the rise. Children, youth and even adults have been picking up graphic novels and have got back into reading. If your child is into this kind of literature, then the Lion's Graphic Bible is perfect for your child. Basically, it turns the Bible into one great big comic book or graphic novel. It brings the stories to life for visual learners and also enables dyslexia sufferers to still be able to enjoy the Word of God. Number five is taken straight from Open the Book. The Lion Storyteller Bible is from the same makers as the graphic Bible, Lion. All the stories are written by Bob Hartman, the world-renowned Christian storyteller. If your kids have ever been to a scripture union holiday or been in an Open the Book assembly, they've probably come across Bob's storytelling before. So why not purchase this book and help your children to read the Bible as a series of stories rather than just a bunch of words? Let's not forget, we may find the words easy to understand, but we're a little bit older than these children. Number four is the final of our Bibles. Another popular option with church mice, it's the beginner's Bible. It reduces the Bible stories into toddler-friendly stories with lots of pictures. And I know at least one child who loves his stories from this book. You can live in the Garden of Eden, cross the Red Sea, defeat Goliath, and befriend Jesus in this wonderful little book. For number three, we're taking on a musical note. Some children just love to sing songs and dance around doing all the actions, but so do some of us adults. Doug Hawley is one such adult. 
His songs are packed with easy to learn actions and super catchy tunes. From great great brill brill to I'm gonna jump up and down and spin a ride around to can sheep speak Danish. Have a little giggle, have a little dance and praise the Lord. He's available on most music streaming services and also available in the iTunes store. With so many actions in the songs, it's also a great way to keep in shape when stuck inside. You probably already have number two on your tablet or phone. The Bible app is popular with most Christian adults, but why not encourage your children to get it too? With the ability to set daily reading plans or to get daily verses, it can be a quick and easy way to get yourself reading your Bible anywhere, anytime. And finally, at number one, it's Minnow TV. GoMinnow.com used to be called Jelly Telly, but when it changed its name, it didn't change its usefulness. It can be so tempting to just sit our children down in front of the telly when we're trying to work from home. But is the content on our TV suitable for growing your children into healthy and fruitful adults? Minnow TV is essentially the Netflix for Christian children. There's plenty of shows including Veggie Tales, 3 to 1 Penguins and the Read and Share Bible. There's puppets, cartoons and even a man in the Holy Land. Although there's a cost, it's an ideal resource for those young children to be entertained in a healthy and positive way. Well, that's all from us for our top 20 countdown of the children's resources to keep them entertained and fed on God. Thanks for listening and tune in soon for more from the extra videos here at Trinity Church.